Julian Assange has cautioned Donald Trump that the continuous profound state upset without wanting to bring about VP Mike Pence supplanting him as president. In a tweet late Friday morning, the WikiLeaks organizer watched that profound state powers are currently moving in to unseat Trump inside the following couple of months. The FreeThoughtProject.com reports, Assange noticed that Trump's political capital has been straightforwardly plundered throughout recent months by GOP, CIA, Netanyahu, Goldman Sachs, and so forth. Basically, Assange is stating is that the previously mentioned partners who need to see Trump gone have played a long amusement, whereby they have worked to remove whatever number disliked positions as could be expected under the circumstances. E.G. Tax breaks for the super rich, push the subsequent political carcass to Mueller and introduce Mark Pence. This, obviously, was done as methods for disjoining Trump from his political base, which to a great extent contradicts CIA interventionism, Zionism, and globalist managing and account cartels. The thought behind it being that when Mueller moves to suggest reprimand, Trump will have strayed so distant from the positions that got him chose that there will be an insignificant open objection with all due respect. This takes after jabber not long ago that some observed Mike Pence as the deep state's protection approach. Truth be told, WikiLeaks Assange, tweeted back in March, that there was an arrangement in the air by Hillary Clinton and her followers inside the intelligence community to constrain a Pence takeover as The Washington Post's Josh Rogan seen back in March. Pence is seen by numerous in Washington as a figure who may go to bat for the generally hawkish perspectives he upheld while in Congress, an intermediary of sorts for the GOP National Security Foundation. Assange's position about the Pence overthrow has been recognized by free writer, Mike Cernovich, who broke the Susan Rice unmasking story and has already said that inside sources have affirmed that Pence is attempting to expel Trump in a profound state upset. Back in August, Cernovich revealed having inside data from White House's sources that asserted Pence was working in the background to include Republican votes Congress for a conceivable arraignment vote to evacuate Trump. T. Bits of gossip about an inside upset started amid the decision battle when it was accounted for that Pence started plotting an overthrow after a tape of Trump bragging about grabbing ladies was made open. The tape's discharge, one month before the decision, made difference among senior Republicans and drove a few pulling back their supports and calling for Trump to pull back as the gathering's presidential hopeful. Pence, known as a profoundly religious man was said to be alongside himself over Trump's remarks on the tape. Pence's better half Karen was supposedly sickened and called Trump inexcusable, just absolutely contemptible, as indicated by The Atlantic. Sources near the battle have asserted that the circumstance was serious to the point that Trump held a meeting to figure out what advance to take next. Reince Priebus, who might turn into Trump's first chief of staff, was apparently shelled with calls from party authorities and givers begging him to dispose of Trump, with some recommending supplanting him with Pence and influencing Condoleezza to rice his running mate. Priebus allegedly revealed to him he would endure a colossal annihilation on the off chance that he didn't drop out. At the time, RNC attorneys endeavored to locate a lawful component by which they could evacuate Trump as the Republican applicant while a gathering of extremely rich people endeavored to offer Trump $800 million with a specific end goal to willfully stop the race, as indicated by The Atlantic. The truth is that Trump, while thought about an outcast to governmental issues, has worked as a quintessential lawmaker by taking into account a considerable lot of the specific vested parties he kept running on not permitting to have impact in his organization which may eventually be his demise if his base relinquishes him as Mueller pushes toward a potential prosecution. As Democratic Senator Toss Schumer revealed to MSNBC's Rachel Maddow in reference to Trump going up against the intelligence community. Wowzer, you go up against the inside group, they have six routes from Sunday at settling the score with you.